You ask for a beginning. I speak to you of a ship sailing my blood. There was a continent mistook for a country, mistook for a cake, and then a feast. Ghost white hands licking brown frosting from their fingers, auction, swelter, fade to black. And then my birth, a red ocean coughs up a kicking boy, and then the ocean recedes. You ask for more specific biology. I speak of wind, of invisible blood, moonlit flight, of a boy floating from hospital to foster home until finally a woman picks the boy made entirely of sand, until a woman teaches him how to spell his tired name. You ask for a name. You ask for an ID, a certificate, a photo. You ask and ask, listen, once I said adopted and the class fainted with laughter. Once I called a stranger my father because the lunch table began to grow teeth, I know. I have a body that is solid. I have a navel like an X on a map, easy evidence of some lost country, some removed mother, some unearthed grief, a voyage away from that song drunk land adoption, the most beautiful erasure, the most successful punchline, a lineage snapped at the neck, the nursed back to flight look. At the boy with water for blood. Look at the boy twice removed from his identity. Do not ask me if I know to whose body I belong. Do not ask me which are my real siblings. If blood is thicker than water, then love must be thicker than both. Must be some new, soft country, some damp, fertile dirt, perhaps. I was born and then born again, perhaps. I am here without a language, without a lantern to lead me home. But look at the moon making sugar of its light and look at each hair of grass naming themselves and sure. I am here like a gust of wind, the truancy of some slow erasure, sure. The orphan mothers his own tongue, sure. I exist like everything's busy child, like a handprint left in the sand. <laughs>